So, you're gonna wanna watch part one on this video. We left off with this little arrow um, to the shop. Uh, yeah. So, when this is tapped, um, some player do a different card. Choose card. Um, the one we just finished making. Now that's all fine and dandy. This is part two, by the way. Hey, go, go watch part one. Because it's a tapper game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not text. No, why would I want text? Ew. No, not a... <clears throat> okay, I'm mad right now. I'm mad. Extremely mad. Alright, so basically now... Now you're gonna wanna make it white. White stuff. Um... And then you're gonna wanna do this. And then you're gonna wanna do this crap. Alright, and then, and when you're finished with the plus sign, you're gonna wanna, gonna wanna do, wanna, gonna wanna do, gonna, <laughs> um, let's do that crap right there, no, stop, stop, and do that crap right there, that crap right there, so it's a full weekend one, it's a one, plus one, and, logic, when when this is tapped um if a condition is met or no response if a variable meets a condition if variable taps is greater or equal to 50 50 50 um gonna do modify the value of a variable variable a deck variable thank you very much um no multiplier to one relative and at response um modify the value of a variable variable taps um, to negative 50 relative because it's gonna cost 50 taps it's gonna cost that much that, yeah yeah you're gonna have to actually work for this crap oh crap I forgot the hitbox <laughs> again I keep forgetting all that crap did I forget it on the arrow uh, I'm thinking too much <sighs> Getting sidetracked. Alright. So, yeah, basically, do that crap. Then do that, and then do that, basically. Take this text, which actually, apparently, we actually need. Um, it's not gonna be cheese, I'm sorry. My name in the game is Cheese Lord. But sorry, it's not cheese this time. Not all about cheese this time. It's gonna be plus one m multiplier. Oh, multiplier, not multiplier. Multiplier. Cost colon draw sign fifty. Then you're going to want to find that crap. Then make it bigger so it's bigger like that. And then there you go. And do that. And you could do the exact same thing, um, but with bigger numbers. So you can do more multipliers. Do whatever number you want. Alright. Oh, I got to... 
I forgot to change the hitbox of that. Crap. There we go. That's unaligned, but I don't care. Um, so yeah. Put it like that. I'm gonna wanna go back to the first one we made and uh, click on shop. And since we haven't chosen the card for that yet, do it to the one we just finished. So yeah. <laughs> now I'm um, gonna make a leaderboard. You're gonna make it the bronze being the lowest. Um, gold, gold or yellow. Gold or yellow being the highest, being the highest. And then silver being the second highest or second lowest. And you're going to want to fill all that crap in. So yeah, in the bronze, just make it like orange or something. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna wanna make that. Get that crap right here. Get that crap over there. And then you're gonna wanna edit that blueprint. Go to logic, rules, go to when this is tapped. When this is tapped, right? Um gotta find it. Find it! Um, save a variable to the leaderboard. Save variable taps. Variable taps to the leaderboard. And then show, show the leaderboard for a variable. For variable taps. Um, hi. Yes. <sighs> Score. No, actually, change it to tabs right there. Save. Right there. Right there. You got that crap. Like. Boom. And normally the updates just disappear. It doesn't matter. Just gonna go back. Now, I'm gonna share the deck. Make it public. Hashtag whatever. I'm gonna do hashtag tapper. Do you could do all the hashtags if you want. Set some sensitivity. There's no sensitivity for this. And boom. And now I'm gonna go to my profile. I get the tapper. And it a hundred percent works. I'm number one in the leaderboard, obviously, because I mean Obviously, I'm the best. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. That's... Oh, my God. It's <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that's the end of that.